Chinook. <laughs> so for me, and for you. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I am going to do a little bit of a mango tasting, or mango review I should say, um, or mango tasting review, that's what I really should say. Um, these are some common varieties that we're getting in the shops now, and I've noticed that we're starting to get a lot more Asian mangoes, and um, not, well, not just the green ones, but this one in particular, which I have never seen before, um, but they have this labeled as the Asian Queen Mango. And then in brackets it says extremely sweet. So I bought two to give them a taste. Um, so we got Asian Queen. This one is the um, Dragon Tooth Mango, which I've also never tasted. Um, supposed to be sweet, grown here in Australia. I believe all of these are actually grown in Australia. Um, this one is the um, Dragon Tooth, what do they call it? The Maha Chinook, the Chinook, Maha Chinook mango or something. Um, and then we've got this one is the Kensington Pride. So this is the standard Australian, the quintessential Australian mango. Um, they export this all around the world. So if you get an Australian mango, it's a Kensington Pride. Um, they're normally this size, some can get a little bit bigger, but yeah, it's supposed to be one of the best tasting mangoes in the whole world. And then this is a Honey Gold. Um, I don't even think I've had this one actually. So this is an off version of the Kensington Pride. So I think it was um, cross pollination or something. And then, so it's supposed to be a bit sweeter than the Kensington Bride. Um, yeah, the Kensington Bride is supposed to have a little bit more tang. So I got two of them because one was a little bit green on it. So that's the honey gold. And then last one is this big mother of a mango. And this is the uh, um, R2E2. So these are some of the biggest mangoes we get in Australia. This one and the, I think it's the Keat mango. Um, but the Keat Mango is really good, um, probably my favorite, but I'll taste these ones to see. And they're a bit bigger, but they are late season, so they're going to come in towards the end of summer, where we're just at the beginning of summer now. Um, so, I guess we'll start with this Asian Queen. I googled the name, and it came up with a Filipino, like, Filipino Mango, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's, we shall see. Ooh. Let's see how extremely sweet this is. Has a little bit of mango flavor, not overwhel overwhelming. Oh, wait. oh my goodness, that is really sweet. Okay, they were correct. Whoa, even the aftertaste, the after notes are like sugar, sugar, sugar. Whoa. Um, not really fibrous. There's a little bit there, but very pleasant. You're not really going to get any stuck in your teeth. Oh, it's almost too sweet. Like, let me try to cut this one. Oh, that's so good. They are all small, all of the mangoes, the Asian queen mangoes were this small. You can hear that there's a bit of fiber in there, but I'm not getting any. Mm. 
Whoa. Okay, I can definitely say that is one of the sweetest mangoes I've ever eaten. Right? Too sweet, huh? Mm. It's like... Kind of standard mango flavor. And just up to the sugar level. Mm. Mm. They should make candy out of this. Like a mango syrup. Yeah, mango syrup, that's what that is. I mean, it's delicious. Plus, these are super ripe. Like, you can see the indentations on it. So I would, <clears throat> I'd probably get this when it's a little bit more firm, a little bit less ripe. I wanted to ripen these up, so I've had them in the fridge for the last couple of days, just to make sure they're all getting that real mango flavor and I'm not getting anything underripe. <coughs> <laughs> so sweet. Um, what should we do next? Let's do this dragon one. Oh no, let's do this one. Because I know this one, the R2E2. I know this one is not that sweet. I'm pretty sure. If my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, so this one, I'm pretty sure has like next to no fiber. Yeah, it's just like butter. Look, I want mango. Want mango? Okay. This one has a little bit of mango scent. Not nowhere near as strong as that one. And I mean, it's okay. The sweetness is like that's a 10 out of 10 sweetness. The sweetness of this is like a five. Texture is more softer and creamier than that one, but it's not really something to rave about in my opinion. I know, um, cause these are farmed, R2E2 and Kensington Pride are the most farmed mangoes in Australia, so they're everywhere. And a lot of times they'll pick them in the green I know this because I've actually been on a mango farm up north and um, we were picking these and we were picking them so green where they are rock hard and you chuck them in the buckets and then you tip them in the big containers and they go in the conveyor belts and get washed in all their chemicals so I mean it's gonna be like a month even from when they pick to when you're actually eating it so not really I'm gonna rate this mango, I'm gonna give this mango a 6 out of 10. And I'll give this one a, maybe a 9. I mean, it's too sweet, but then that's not really that much of a bad thing, is it? <laughs> no, maybe its size holds its back, yeah. 9, 6. Um, okay, let's go this one. So this is the Maha Chinook. Um, or well, they label it here as dragon tooth mango. I believe they are grafting this variety onto Kensington Prides. So that's the inside, it's very ripe, a little overripe down here. Oh, very strong smell. A lot orangier color. Yeah, like look at that color difference. Like completely different, right? And that's the um Okay. I've never had this one either. Mm. Okay. Um It's like melts in your mouth. Definitely not as mango, the quintessential mango flavor as the other ones, or as the Asian Queen. I mean, it's delicious. Mm. 
really soft actually. I was very, very soft texture. Here's the cameraman. Mm. Um, I don't know much to say about this one. It almost has like a paw paw vibe. Yeah, actually. Yeah. When you eat a paw paw, how it just melts, mm. that's what this mango does. These are very ripe too, so I'm going to try to cut this one this way and see if I can. It's a nice clean mango, but the, the seed is very thin, so there's quite a bit of flesh to seed ratio. I forgot a spoon. Oh, this side is better. This mango is better than the last one. bit different than the last one. Um, yeah, I'm not getting like strong mango, right? It's sweet, smooth, it's like slight mango flavor. I don't really know what else to say. It's good. Am I going to be buying this I would definitely buy this over the R2E2, but I still think the Asian mango green is a bit better. So I'll give this one a eight. Yeah, eight. Plus you can eat them like that, and then you spoon them out. That's that's a bit fun. Um, okay, let's go KP. Let's go the OG. are coming around now okay so that's your this just smells like summer in Australia because we are a mango nation and we are a Kensington Prime <laughs> mango nation <laughs> every supermarket is going to have this mango like every single supermarket and they have them for what three months or something four months they grow them up north so the mangoes like ripen up further north in Australia and then the ripeness sort of comes down south. So some of the farms that are right at the tip of Australia, they get them like, um, so we've had these in the shops. Like, this is the first week of summer. We've had these in the shops for like, what, five weeks? Literally, yeah, in spring. And then we'll have them all through summer. I mean, it is a good mango. It doesn't blow my socks off. This was a bright one as well. I've had sweeter ones. This is... It's almost a little bit watery. A little bit of tang. Still a good mango. But not... Not epic. Not great. It's okay. I'm gonna anger a lot of farmers by saying that. Sorry, farmers. Okay, so this is the honey gold. So this is supposed to be just like the Kings and Pride, cross pollinated somewhere along the line, and it's supposed to be less tangy and more sweet. Oh, it's very light. So why is the green one? more yellow I don't know okay let's try this here no seems more right though smooth oh I forgot to say the cakes of pride there's no fiber either you're not gonna get fiber in your teeth mm. okay 
know he's on the right. It's supposed to be less tangy. There's a hell of a lot more tangy. Honey gold. I don't know if this is lighter because it's just really under ripe. Mm. Ooh. It's like too tangy. Yep, don't like that one. It's supposed to be more <laughs> sweeter than that one. I think this is just a game, them picking them under ripe, getting them out to the bloody supermarkets. Um, I'll give that one a four. Actually, I'll give it a three. That was bad. But then again, it's not fair because I picked too soon. But the flavoring, if it's like this Kensington Pride and a little bit sweeter, it's just not that amazing. Um, so... The winner is Asian Queen. Look how dark that is. I need to find out the name of this mango. I think um, I read Carabao, an Asian Queen mango, but then that's the Filipino mango. I don't know if that's, well, maybe this is. It looks similar. The Carabao. I mean, night and day compared to those ones. Um, okay, well, if you're in Australia and you haven't tried the Dragon Tooth mangoes, or you haven't tried these Asian queen mangoes, definitely go. Yeah, so there's the most fiber in this one than the others, but best flavor by far. And it actually, it actually smells the most mango-y as well, you know? It's got that sweet, pungent smell. Um, okay. That's about it, guys. I'm really excited I found this one. When he wrote extremely, was it extremely sweet on the card? I was like, I'll be the judge of that. He's not wrong. Okay, Asian Queen. What did I give it? Nine, nine out of 10. If they were a bit bigger, It'd be a 10. Okay, thanks for watching another little video, guys. All right, so just show you a few of the mangoes that I'm growing on my property, because I don't have that many. This one is the Kasturi mango. It is essentially extinct in the wild. It's from Borneo, and now they're only being grown by rare fruit enthusiasts and a few different you won't find this at a nursery like at a commercial nursery it'll be yeah um very dark mango like purple black and it's supposed to taste really funky so i'm excited for that one um i've got another little one here this is a bali apple i was told which is i guess it's similar to an um an apple mango which is kind of what i was after and the grower told me oh yeah this is it this is it but he said no this is not an Indian apple mango this is a Bali apple mango apple but I googled Bali apple and there's nothing online so I think people in these countries just sort of name you know what they want like it's an apple crunchy mango grown in Bali so they call it a Bali apple but is it actually a Bali apple mm, I don't really know um, that's the graft there and my story is grafted there as well. Um, okay, this one here is my 
Namdok Mai. This has been destroyed so many times by possums. Um, but since, yeah, literally, it grew, snapped off by a possum, grew back, snapped off, chewed the branch. Um, was like out here coming down here so I just kind of abandoned it because it was here in my back corner of the fence like that's my fence right there and the possums run on top of the fence these are their highway but since I got a couple of dogs the possums have actually been less of a problem so I finally got some nice flush growing here three new shoots um, Namdok Mai, it's very sweet, delicious. You can eat it green as well. So I love me some crunchy mangoes. And then I think I've got one more. And this is my last one that I'm growing. This is the Maprang. Maprang. Um, this is, they call this the plum mango. So it's like it has... Um, they make candy out of it because it's supposed to be really, really sweet. And they're really small. And they look, oh, I guess, the size of a plum, really. And, um, yeah, it's very tropical. So I'm keeping it in my nursery for, I think, another year. Over the next winter, and then I'll plant it out and see how she goes. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got, what have I got? One, two, three, four. So I'm definitely going to get the Carabao, that Asian Queen, that I've just eaten because it is delicious. And then I want to get the Kit Mango because I love that. And a couple mangoes that I've grew up with in Papua New Guinea, which I cannot find here in Australia yet. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Cheers.